Yo, what's going on guys? Your boy Vita here back on the Madden 16 Ultimate Team and today we got a lineup update before the game as always, but we actually got a few changes here. I don't know if uh, there's that Byron B. Jones. I don't know what his name is. Let's not, not, let's not pretend like I know his name. Also, we got Ultimate Legend Jason Taylor down there on the land. I need somebody to scream. And I got rid of uh, Richard Sherman. Put down Charles Woodson. I had Charles Woodson before, but uh, I decided to give him a go. And also, uh, my Super Bowl game ended up getting corrupted, unfortunately. I did lose. It was a super close game, but I ended up losing, like, very, like, seriously last play. It's kind of, kind of like that Tory Holt gameplay I brought you guys. It was, like, very, 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 like, last play as time expired. The guy ended up scoring on a verticals play, and it, I wish I... I'm, I'm actually really upset I lost because it was a really good game. So we're going to start off a new season here, and we're going to start off with that weird little pooch kick. And then this guy's out of here. He's probably just trying to demote himself, trying to get that, that murky sailing. And I swear to God, I'm not going to be far behind him if I'm going to play some savages. So we're going to start off the season 1-0. and oh, We're going to jump into the next gameplay against the Raiders. I know it's not the real Raiders. I know I say that all the time. I don't care. It looks like this guy's got the Chip Kelly gamer tag. But we're going to start off getting the ball first, and we're going to go ahead and call a fair catch in the end zone. Take it from the 20-yard line because we, we don't play like that no more. I uh, run to the triple option. I pretty much always start with the triple option. Oh, and also, I think I, I got rid of uh, uh, Shady, too. Because I'm gonna, he's the reason why I lost that Super Bowl. To be completely honest, I he fumbled. Basically, all I had to do was run out the clock, and Shady fumbled to like Kyle Fuller. Kyle Fuller made him fumble, so I was like, Nah, Shady's out of here. So I got rid of Shady, and now David Johnson is my number one, and Rawls is my number two. I don't even know what his first name is. He's just an all rookie player. He's gonna be gone soon enough, and then I'm gonna get that Marshall Fook. Look, throw a dot just to found Diggs. If I would have taken that more to the midfield, I probably would have ended up scoring there, but I don't care. I'm going to waste clag anyways. So I'm going to dump it off underneath the Steve Smith Sr. Give the whoop and to back to the inside. Be with the first down. Now we are just steady driving here. Give the David Johnson again. Make it a second and two or three. And we're going to go ahead and make a a poor piss poor read uh that was it that was actually a play i never ran before sorry if I, what's going on <laughs> so what's going on with my mic that was a play i, I never really ran before i was just giving it a go because it looked like a good red zone play but i i just it was it was stupid okay all right it was a, it was a bad thing thing okay so i'm probably not going to run that play again until i know what's going on it looks like his cornerback was in a flat and i didn't read it i don't know i never made the play so i can't make the read and then we're going to send some heat vic Beasley Jr. is going to come in on the A gap and make it a third and forever. He's going to go ahead and test Charles Woodson and a welcome to the team, Charles Woodson. He's going to go ahead and grab the pick and give me the ball at the 32-yard line in prime time scoring position. Look at it. Ooh, slap that hit. As long as I don't try and run that play again, it looks like we are going to put some points on the board. We dump it off to the flats with David Johnson, and he was all over it. That that Sometimes that play is just a bust, and it just happened to be that time. We're going to give it to Rawls. Get another few yards. Uh, make it a third and six. And we're going to come out in this little in a little bailout verticals play that I showed you guys. He's going to be all over it, making it a fourth and short. I'm going to no huddle and run verticals again and put VD in an out route. I showed you guys that that uh, version of it too. And that play is just unstoppable. For anything, any like, anytime we have to gain like like four or five, five or under yards pretty much, that play is just the go-to play. It's super good. You just got to be careful. You can't keep going to it like over and over again or else they're going to sit there with their user, obviously. <clears throat> but it's really good to throw them off guard. And here we're just going to go ahead and throw the dot of all dots in the back of the end zone. Boom. Steve Smith Sr. Put up the first points on the board, making a 7 to nothing game. And I just I cannot believe how nice of a dot that was. That was disgusting. And he's uh, getting the ball here. He's going to throw it to the drag route. I had no flat route. And after usually after someone makes a, uh, an intelligent read like that, like back-to-back like -back -back intelligent reads, I'm like, I am going to be in for a long game. Because usually if people can pick apart a defense, I'm kind of fit. Because, yeah, I'm... No, I don't, I don't know why I say that. I'm, I do make pretty good adjustments. But sometimes it just takes me too long to stop people's offense and I'll make a mistake. I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to explain, but sometimes I'll make a mistake. And then they take all advantage of it. That time we had a, that was a block shed, but someone, it was Ed Pressure, but someone uh, got a nice block shed. And there he quick snapped me, but Tyler Dango got again again. Tyler's going to go ahead and grab the interception. I forgot to say Dango got again when Charles Woodson got it. So Dango come again, Dango come again again. Uh, I'm going to make up for it. Tyler's going to go ahead and grab the interception. Give us the ball back and right before half two, which is great. So I'm going to go ahead and do my best to make sure he, this is going to be the last possession. Um, and we dump off to the flats there, pick up a huge gain on the 21 yard line. There's still 40 seconds left, so I gotta try and chew a little bit more. Oh, get on me, little bitch! Uh, that's actually the rising star, Todd Gurley, the Sheffler star, whatever, it's rising star to me. Uh, Todd Gurley, who broke that tackle. Then we're gonna run it with David Johnson, and we're gonna score, make it a 14 to nothing game. We're gonna leave 21 points on, or 21, uh, 21 seconds with three timeouts, which is more than enough time to dot his way up in the field. 
But I think he was a little bit agitated at this point, so he was just trying. Uh, he was just trying me deep. That was actually um, that campus hero. Uh, what's his face? What's his bowls? Uh, Crabtree, Crabtree, but Ty Law was just locking him up. Uh, I feel like he probably should have tried the other side because he's like Charles Woodson is just horrible for the jump ball. And then he's going to go ahead and try Charles Woodson. Charles Woodson's going to deny him over there. I don't know who he had. Over. I think that was uh, Des Bryant, actually. Or Demar that was Demaryius Thomas, I think. And then he's going to, Bud Law's going to slap it out that time on fourth and ten. So then we're going to go into the second half. He's going to get the ball first. I think that's, I think it's Charles Woodson as his uh, kick returner for some reason. Does Charles Woodson return kicks? Does he do that? I don't, I don't, I don't think so. <clears throat> but then we're going to send an A gap. And we're going to get a huge sack there, making it. He's going to no huddle, too. And I'm like, never no huddle, because you're going to get another A gap. And then we're going to get a safety. It's going to be 16 to nothing, and he's going to give us the ball. And at this point, it's looking like it's going downhill. So I'm just like, I'm going to get this ball, and I'm going to chew that clack. So I'm going to chew the clack. Chew the clack. And I'm trying to get out of this shit. And I'm sure he's trying to get out of this shit, too. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my best to just keep the ball on the ground, get up, get short yardages, you know, and they could try and get it to throw. Wow, look at David Johnson. He's such a beast. See, you didn't get shit like that from McCoy. Uh, we're going to dump it off to David Johnson again. Pick up the first down on third and four. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm doing my best. Like I don't want to I don't want to get too many yards in one. That was just a, that was just to make him not think I was going to run it every single play. That way, uh, I could I could chew more clack. But I tried to hand it off right there. I, I swear it didn't let me. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, drag. The drag was wide open, but Stefan Diggs is going to get the one-handed spectacular catch. I can't, I cannot believe I forced that pass and got it. It should have been a prettier ball. It, that should have been like a, like a, just an easy completion, but, uh, unfortunately, uh, Michael Vick threw it off his back foot, and we're going to give it to David Johnson. We're going to do our best and not score, and with that, this guy's going to go ahead and throw his Xbox out the window, and we're going to start off the season two. And so if you like the video, give it a like, a comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, it'll be down in the description below, and as always, guys, eh.